The joint investigation between SMU and the NCAA has concluded that between September of 1985 and December of 1986, monthly payments ranging from $50 to $725 were made to numerous student athletes. According to SMU's investigator in this case, those payments were made by one booster, who neither the university nor the NCAA will name publicly. Oh man, this is the coolest breakdown. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down what exactly happened to Southern Methodist University's football program, aka SMU, in the 1980s. Now let's get to it. The SMU Mustangs football program is a college football team located in the Dallas County, Texas. It really all starts in 1975 when Ron Meyer came to SMU as the head coach from the Cowboys, bringing a Super Bowl win over with him. His most notable recruits were future NFL running backs and Hall of Famer Eric Dickerson and Craig James. Now when he first got there, the team struggled to put together wins. He needed to do something that would help the recruits to make their decision to come onto the squad. So Coach Meyer would put his assistants on assignment to give recruits $20 bills under the table. $20 would then become $200. The method worked as the Mustangs became competitive and they were able to play in the bowl game in the 1980 season and they finished second in their conference. Meyer and his tactics got caught eventually by the NCAA and they received a one season ban from all bowl games from the 1981 season. Coach Meyer left to become the head coach of the New England Patriots in 1982, and SMU hired coach Bobby Collins, then head coach at the University of Southern Mississippi. When Collins took over, the Mustangs had a good core of players, and the need for them to overly stretch their arms to recruit certain athletes wasn't really there. But they still continued. Collins continued to make under the table payments to players despite probation and in 1982 the Mustangs finished unbeaten and won the 1983 Cotton Bowl Classic on their way to finishing at number two in the final polls. Dickerson finished third in the Heisman Trophy voting in 1982 and the team, powered by the Pony Express, claimed a share of its second consecutive national championship. SMU posted a 49-9-1 record from 1980 to 1984, which was the highest win percentage in Division 1A over that span. Now this clip here will put this era into perspective. Because they was out there, wild. I'm talking about wild, and they had all of that them rich oil dudes in Dallas, uh -huh. just like breaking cats off. I'm talking about driving Ferraris. Hey. Oh my God. Yeah, it was wild. And now for the fall and the program's recovery. In 1987, SMU became the first and only football program in collegiate athletic history to receive the death penalty for repeated serious violations of NCAA rules. The NCAA forced SMU to cancel its football program for the 1987 season because the university had been paying some of its players with estimates of 61,000 was paid from 1985 to 1986. It was later emerged that SMU had been keeping a slush fund to pay players since as early as the mid-1970s and that athletic officials have known about it as early as 81. The Mustangs struggled 
for 20 years to recover from the effects of the penalty and the scandal. According to ESPN's 2010 documentary film, Pony Excess, much of the cheating took place with the full knowledge of school administrators. Finally, in the 2019 season, the Mustangs got off to an 8-0 start. On September 21st of that season, they defeated crosstown rival TSU. On September 29th, 2019, the Mustangs were ranked in the AP Top 25 for the first time since October 25th, 1980. Six. More recently, in the 2023 season, the Mustangs finished with an impressive 11-2 record and were undefeated in their conference play, resulting in them being crowned the American Athletic Conference champions. Now, if you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe like, comment, and share, and turn on the notifications bell, and also follow my Instagram down below in the description. I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Peace.